Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Dubsy Plays the Binding of Isaac. Something, something, also potatoes today. I'm not even sure. Uh, first off, I would like to... Hit the button. I would like to apologize for the last episode. I kind of snapped a little bit and went a little nuts. <laughs> um, uh, let's just say I hate the Keeper. This is a stupid character. And I'm glad that I will never, ever have to play as the Keeper ever again. At least I don't think I will ever have to. Good God, that would be horrible. Anyway, I am running on a cup of coffee slash hot cocoa and like one third of a chocolate muffin and some coconut water because apparently that's something my mom had in the fridge for whatever reason. So if I seem a little slower than usual, if my if my wit and my 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 brain is not working quite to the standard, I would normally have that's why just a little a little low on calories but that's fine anyway now that now that the keeper is done quote unquote clearly um all i really have left to do is complete the void with four characters i think samson eve blue baby and apollyon um i'm gonna have a go with Apollyon, I guess? The character I haven't played as in a very long time. And by Apollyon, I mean the void item. The character. Uh, <laughs> as there is nothing else remarkable about them other than having the void item. I don't know extremely well how to use the void, but uh, but it has... It's one of those items in this game that absolutely can can break stuff if you, uh, if you use it correctly. And by use it correctly, I mean have frequent opportunities to use it at all. Cause it's just, it just be like that, you know? It's just like, what's that? You want some stat ups and you have some stupid use items lying around? Well, here you go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, nice and helpful. Give you benefits out of nothing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sorry, don't listen to me. You don't get stat ups for voiding use items. You get use items for voiding use items. I... <laughs> I... I don't know where my brain was going with all that. It's more like, it's more like it's every time you encounter an item that's a passive, actually any item at all when you, when you're playing as Apollyon, it's just risk reward. Are you, are you willing to risk sacrificing uh, an item that has guaranteed stats that you know for potentially good stats or, or what? Like, like, are you going to trade in mom's pearls? Is, is, I think it's mom's pearls. The... Why does this thing have two eternal guardian flies? That is annoying. I, like, Mom's Pearls is a range and luck upgrade. Luck is pretty handy. Range has its uses, but isn't particularly very good overall. Are you willing to trade guaranteed range and luck for potentially something better? Like maybe damage, maybe fire rate, uh, something like that. Um, or would you rather just take the stats that you know are good uh, just because you know, well, you, you know what they are, so you know what they are. I, my brain, my brain, I'm telling you, is just something right now. I suppose, really, the way you, the, the way that you want to play with the void item is like very reactionary. Um, how you, how you choose to use it should be based entirely on the quality of your run as it is when you encounter items. Like if your run. If, if you're playing a run where you picked up, say, the item number one, um, maybe if you came across Mom's Pearls, you would prioritize taking it over voiding it more, just just because you know it will give you some range. But if you're playing a run where you, you have, like, I don't know, Tiny Planet or something... Whoa. Okay. Maggie's Bow is really good, but, like, two items that could give me stats... Uh, I'm gonna take Maggie's bow. I I mean, okay, Maggie's bow isn't like exceptionally good, but it's also not bad either. It's uh, well, it'll heal me along the line, and it is an HP up. And quite frankly, for how well I have not been playing lately, I am like implicitly putting a larger value, or at least a larger value on HP than I normally would. Or at least, like, than I would have in the past. Truthfully, I probably should have voided those. But that's okay. I should have voided those because I could have gotten some, some actual, like, valuable stat gain as opposed to just some HP and healing down the line. 
But I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sweat it too much. Nagi's bow is a good item. Nagi's bow is a good item to get early on, I should say. When it's when it's obvious that you're going to have a run that will have red hearts. And I mean, like, I know I could have voided the pentagram to get more other stats, but like, guaranteed damage. Like I was saying earlier, weigh weigh your options. A run like this that has no damage ups, I would rather I would rather take an item that I know will give me damage. And the pentagram does give a fairly large damage upgrade. And for the sake of safety, I'm going to move this up here. I'm going to explode it, and then I'm going to move. Nice. All right. I don't remember if the void item affects consumables like I know uh, black runes do. Black runes will turn any consumables on the ground into flies. Uh, the kamikaze flies. I don't remember if the void item does that. I don't think it does. Goodness, what is with these freaking golden chests? Hmm. I don't think the void item does, no. No. Anyway, um, there are a couple of golden chests lying around here. If I can actually find some keys, I might actually prior- I might- I might prioritize those over the, the special rooms on this floor. Just- just because golden chests- it, I mean, like, everything else in this game, it's risk-reward. Are you willing to- are you willing to risk- Losing a guaranteed item in exchange in for getting, a, you know, maybe some more consumables, which could get you more items or more special rooms. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. If I can find at least one key anyway. Goodness. Oh, hey, look, a key. Here's what we do. We go to the secret room. I'm going to blow this guy up. Sorry. Thank you for the money, though. Hmm. I decided to use the moon card because I was hoping the secret room would be adjacent to a special room I could bomb into and save a key, which would give me access to one of those other golden chests, like guaranteed, but eh, I guess not. Well, actually, maybe it, maybe it will. Oh, never mind. I was thinking maybe, maybe there would be something on the other side of the secret room, like in the, like, catty corner to the kitty corner, catty corner. Whatever that term is, to the lower right corner of this big room, but I guess not. That's fine. Not necessary. I was thinking maybe there'd be an item room there. I'm kind of thinking I might actually want to specifically go to the shop. I have two keys now. Is my... You know, I just noticed, I think my, my computer cursor is on the screen. Um, why is the cursor on the... What? And now it's gone. I don't understand. That was very strange. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I know where the item room is now, or at least relatively where it is. I'm gonna go to the shop. Uh, obviously, no question, taking the black candle. Do I wanna go? I also don't remember if the void item works on deal with the devil items, if the void does. I'm gonna go fight the boss. It's Pin, easy boss. I'm gonna fight Pin. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the deal with the devil and see what we've got in there. I've got three red hearts to spend, red heart containers. So there's a good chance I can get some useful stuff. And if I find like a use item or something, well, I have the void. Nice and easy. Mr. Dolly, no question. Range and fire rate, and I guess a bunch of red hearts that I can't use. That's a shame. Yeah, see, so like like this kind of scenario right here. Deal with the Devil Precedent I would get from taking Satanic Bible. Although I'm, like, guaranteed going to get hit there. That's fine. So I'm going to use Satanic Bible. Hopefully I can get my iframes back to take the Void. I'm going to Void it. And now my Void item is having the Satanic Bible effect. Was that worth it? I mean, maybe. Kinda. I get to keep the Void. And it now has the effect of Satanic Bible. So I get, I get Blackheart Generation, which is like phenomenally good in this game and I did manage to get an extra black heart even though I stepped on a on a what's it called even though I stepped on some spikes because that's just gonna happen okay oh that was that was unlucky I am at this point just sincerely hoping that I can find a way to get one more key because I really want to open that other golden chest but I also want to investigate this Abel is bad Blank card. 
blank card. Was there a... I didn't see if there was a battery in the shop, but if there was... Ooh, if there was a battery in the shop, I could have the void item with Satanic Bible and blank card. There's a battery, yes. Yes, here we go, all right. All right, busted use item, here we go. So this is gonna be an Apollyon run with, uh, with an e a heavy emphasis on use items. So far, anyway, it looks like. Now I just gotta find something to actually use the blank card with. And of course, black card generation. Hell yeah, let's go. Black card generation, good fire rate, good damage, curse immunity, and if I end up with more red heart containers than I currently have, healing. I'm liking this. This is this is powerful. This is this is a strong build so far. The real question now is whether I'm going to be able to like I'm actually going to be able to get to the void and fight Delirium because that's, you know, that's the goal that I have with this character is to conquer Delirium. We'll see if I can pull that off. That's the hope anyway. Do do do. Nice. All right, let's go look for some special rooms, even though I have no keys. I'm not particularly inclined to find a shop at this point, as I only have five cents. But, you know, shops have a chance to have have little batteries, and little batteries are going to be super, super handy, especially depending on what I can find to work with the blank card effect from Void here. You know what I would love to have? I don't know, a Yara rune would be nice. Blank card Yara, we all know how broken that is. That'd be swell. There's a chance I could find a Yara rune. I'd be down for, I don't know, a higher font card would be kind of nice. Whoops. Took my hand off the keyboard for a moment there. Trying to readjust in my chair here. Or rather, my mom's old desk chair that she's letting me borrow. Because, you know, it's like, what else am I going to sit in here? Sometimes it amazes me how long this chair has actually managed to survive. That is not a door. <laughs> I, think this, I think this particular chair has been in the family for gosh nearly a decade now and it, it like it's not it doesn't even seem damaged or worn it's just a it's just a desk chair just an old desk chair in fact i think this is this this desk chair is so old that the mechanism that it uses to raise or lower is how much you spin it in which direction it's one of those chairs and that that is that is an old seat raise seat height uh, manipulating technique that hasn't been used very often, I've noticed in a long time. Okay. Now, normally because the void item here has a blank card effect, I would I would save it until I find something to use with that, but it also has Satanic Bible, and that was unfortunate. And I don't know about you, but I kind of like the thought of black heart generation, so I'm just gonna, just gonna pop it pretty much as frequently as I can. Any day now. How's my range looking? My range is looking decent. Not super good. I'm kind of already in the planning phases for how I'm going to get to Void. Get to the Void. Just, just like, because the only actual guaranteed way to get a Void portal is to, to fight and defeat Hush. And, of course, that is that is timer-based, so... At the moment, I'm just kind of thinking, this, this run, I believe, is on pace to get to Hush. But is this actually going to be a build that can take Hush down? I don't think it's quite there yet. I got some I got some stuff to some some planning to do, some further further uh further work to be done in that regard. But also I, I'm still at default speed and I really would like to be able to go a little bit faster. Hmm. Well, we'll see what we'll see what we can get from some of this stuff. With two keys, I only have 7 cents though. I'm not going to go to the shop for now. Just kidding, I now have another key. Apple is fantastic. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, There's a case to be made for a lot of stuff in there. Hello. Thank you for the free key, I appreciate it. Free keys, plural, actually. Nice. Ah, nuts. That's okay. I think what I'll probably do, I, I'm probably gonna end up going back to the shop Oh, that was just unfortunate. I think I'm going to go back to the shop and buy a battery. Well, actually, wait, wait. No, I'm not going to do that yet. Just kidding. I am totally going to do that. <laughs> wait. 
Just kidding about... Just kidding. I'm gonna go... Never mind. The boss is right here. Alright, that's fine. I'm gonna go grab the battery. I was thinking maybe I could find a battery drop before I get to the boss, but like... There's, unless I get one from this room here, it's not guaranteed. Yeah, no. So I'm gonna go charge up the void. Um, so I have it available to use if the boss item sucks. Which, you know, it could. You never know. So I'm gonna go buy the battery. And I'm gonna go fight the boss dude. And we'll see what we get from it. To be honest, I'm kinda hopeful I'm gonna get like, uh... I'm kinda hopeful we get 8-ball or magic 8-ball or something. Because that would be a card, and I I still do have the blank card functionality from what's it called? From the void. We'll see what we get here. Breakfast. Nah. So it gave me speed and range. You know. You know. I'm actually thrilled to get that particular set of stat ups from the void out of breakfast. Because there's nothing that I could do with with HP right now that really seems appealing. But speed, oh man, oh man, oh man, give me all of it. Actually, what I'd really love is some flight right now. Oh, that was almost a really bad collection of dodges. I would really love to be able to fly. This run is already quite powerful offensively and defensively. Like, it's, it's above, it's... Far, far above average for this stage in the game, I'd say. You know, Sloth, you're just being rude. Ooh, a moon card. Alright, well, there's the first card to use with the blank card synergy. It's just the moon, so it's nothing special, but if I can make it to boss rush, that's uh, an item I'm gonna steal. Heavy emphasis on if, though. Like, this run is absolutely above average, but it's definitely not crazy powerful yet. It, I, I think I think it can be. It has the potential to be, certainly. Granted, pretty much every run in this game does, but... What the heck was that? Something fell down behind me, and I'm not sure what it was, but I got so distracted I looked away and took damage. What on earth was that? Did I knock something over? Oh, the... Hold on. Why did that fall? Strange. There's, um, one of those, like, expandable curtain rod things that my mom had hung up in the, the doorway to this room just because it, she put, like, a, she put, like, a, a curtain on it that, that blocks heat because this room is very difficult to warm up once it gets cold just based on its size and how it's meagerly insulated, relatively speaking. And for some reason, the curtain and the curtain rod it was on just kind of fell. That's very strange. Hmm. You know, it could just be that the house is settling because it's like the temperature's kind of been fluctuating outside lately. All right, let's find that secret room. Where are we going? We going to spiders is where we are going. That is totally okay with me. And by we are going to spiders, I mean... Oh, ooh, oh hey, that's handy. Blank card Joker, you say? Ooh, let's go. This run just went from good to freaking fantastic. Yeah, sure, I'll do it again. I think I'll do, I'll do that for the black card and go back for this penny. All right, moon card, you were good to me very briefly, but now I have blank card joker and I'm not even, I'm not scared anymore. This is, this is good, this is real good. Joker may objectively, may very well be objectively the best teleport card in the game. I'm happy to have it, I'm happy to have it. Voice crack voice crack much now unfortunately this run is I'm not killing things as fast as I'd like I really would like to be able to get to boss rush oh hello guppy's collar I kind of figured with all the HP generation we've got going curse uh, cur uh, curse rooms like this easy easy peasy and you know what that's a guppy item that's that's a guppy item I'm happy to have it that much closer to being guppy I'm down for that. I'm also just gonna explode that portal because I don't want to mess with it further. What? It Ooh. Rude. Dark bum, you say? Oh my. 
Oh my, do I want to take Dark Bum? No, I don't. I don't need it. <laughs> I will absolutely take 8 Inch Snails, though. Absolutely. Give me that damage. Cool, cool. So now we're, now we're doing, like, real significant damage. It was decent before, now it's just really good. What are you? You are question marks. I'm gonna have to remember that. And it looks like I'm gonna have... I'm gonna have a charge at the start of the next floor guaranteed so I can just hop straight to the devil room. Even though I have goats... I have a goat head, which means I don't really need blank card joker anymore. Well, at the same time, that means I'll be able to get to devil rooms or maybe angel rooms, depending on what the game decides uh, on, like, the cathedral or something. That would be nice. Having access to that stuff that you normally wouldn't. Magic scab? Nah, I'm gonna skip it. Why did I do that? I was just talking about how I'd have a... I love how magic scab gave me a, a luck up anyway from, from the void. I was just talking about how I would have a charge here. And then I squandered it by not thinking for, like, half a second. Ridiculous. That's okay. I'll get another charge soon enough. Bye, Super Wrath. Bye, Super Wrath. <laughs> Thanks for Mr. Mega, I guess. I'll take a bomb synergy. I'm down. I think I'm, I think I'm getting better at using bombs offensively, so I'm happy to have it. And by that, I mean something like this. <laughs> Oof. I'm gonna end up, by the way, playing quite recklessly here, because, like, this run is so powerful. It's so powerful offensively, it's so powerful defensively. I don't- I don't care if I get hit. I don't care if I make mistakes right now. It's fine. Granted, of course, I'd rather not be taking damage. I'd rather not be making mistakes. But, at the same time, who cares? Well, I hate this. I hate this a little bit less now, I suppose. No. Mm, good, but no. And eh, no. Eh, let's not. Honestly, bad idea. I don't care. I don't care. All right. Let's hightail it over here. I actually don't want Judas to shadow because I really don't want to respawn as Judas. So I'm not going to worry about it. And obviously, obviously, I'm not going to make it to boss rush, so I'm just going to take a charge for this, get another black heart, and carry on my way. Hmm. You know, I don't really want to. I really want to be in this room. It's kind of pointless. Hey, you, chase me down. I don't remember what that does, but I don't really care. I have Ace of Spades. I'm just kind of hoping that I get an even more broken card. Because, like, Blank Card Joker is real damn good, but it has very limited usefulness. Whereas if I could get something like Blank Card Hierophant, that is another guppy item. Oh my. Real question here, actually. Am I gonna... Of course I'm gonna void Guppy's head. Why wouldn't I? I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna grab the void again. So that completing waves here actually gives me charges. Obviously, I'm going to void Guppy's head. That is not what I want to thank you. What are you? Health up! That's totally fine with me, actually. That one is the question mark pill. I don't want to take it. Pretty fly. Wait, is this the... No, it's telepills, apparently. That's fine. So long as I don't forget to go back for my Joker card. And by that, I mean I'm going back for it immediately as soon as I'm done with this room, because no way in frickin' hell I'm leaving that thing behind. And I still want to void Guppy's head. What are you? The world card. I'm just gonna use it. Because it makes things slightly easier in some capacity. I don't know. Being able to effectively navigate is kind of nice. And now I know where the secret room is. Means I can get into the curse room without wasting any health. Now, how wasteful it would actually be, I don't know, but... Considering how rapidly I'm getting all this health back. Eh, eh it's a black heart and a bomb. And by that I mean it's a black heart. 
I'm cool with that. I'll go back for that penny, I promise. Okay, so I want the Joker card. I want the Void. I'm gonna pop that. I'm still ignoring Judas' Shadow, but now I have a red heart to spend, a red heart container to spend on a future deal with the devil. So that's lovely. Why am I going through this way? Okay. Now I'm just gonna make a break for the boss. Get this done. Remember, my goal here is the void. And the only way to get that guaranteed You know what? I'm gonna take blank I'm gonna take effectively blank card son. This may not seem like a very good idea relative to blank card joker, but if you consider that my goal my goal is to go beat the hush and then go to the void and beat delirium. I'm not even gonna end up going to the floors that have devil rooms or angel rooms. So I don't really need blank card joker. I will totally take the halo. And I'm done. Let's go. I'm gonna have to really start hightailing it though if I want to make it in time. What are you? Like, I kind of feel like I need to find an Awaz rune or something. Pretty fly, hell yeah. Death, the sun, no, the sun is just objectively better. Cool. And by objectively better, I mean mostly. It's valuable more so because it's mapping than anything else. Since I don't happen to have any mapping items, like the compass or whatnot. Knowing where I have to go is kind of lovely. And of course, it lets me basically full clear some rooms for free. Not super often, but once every six rooms. Like, this is a room that I would I would really rather have just cleared with Blank Card Sun, but I wasn't paying attention to my use item charge when I came in here. Like a doofus. This room... This room is now empty! And I know where I'm going. Ouroboros Worm, I will pass. Um, book of, the Book of Sin might actually be worth voiding? Eh, I'm just gonna... Eh, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna re-roll this until I find something that's worth taking. That is not worth taking. I'll take I tell you, I'll take Pisces. Because it's a fire rate, it's a fire rate delay, delay modifier, and it improve it, it just improves my fire rate, that's all. And the knock the, the knockback shot, it's just, like I don't care. That that hardly matters, quite frankly. My knockback was already pretty high because I have eight inch nails. Is it really gonna get any higher? Maybe? Is it gonna get high enough that I could care? Eh, no, probably not. Hello, little battery. I'm gonna make you available. And I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go back, grab the battery, and then I'm gonna do that again when I fight. When I get into the mom fight. A little late for a golden key. Yeah, it does a lot of damage. I'm down for that. I have nothing to say here, honestly. This is just going to be an incredibly easy mom fight. A little more tedious than I'd like for the relative strength of this run, but... I don't know. The biggest weakness I've got right now is just the... The fact that, um, my fire rate's so low. Oh my god, that is guppy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We guppy now. Hey, you know what that means? I was talking about flight earlier. It's flight. Blinding baby has appeared in the basement. Why did that happen? That's strange. All right, well, now, if, now, now we have flight and we're guppy. Which is just, like, real good. So now the whole goal is to beat It Lives as quickly as possible. What are you? Strength? Nah, Blank Card Sun is better. I think at this point I'm also going to be pretty much ignoring all pills and many consumables. What are you? Two of Hearts. Basically negligible. Also going to be ignoring Curse Rooms, because who cares? Oops.
Where am I going? I'm actually going the right way. Yep. So now, 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 now I'm Guppy. We're, we're Guppy with good damage. Fantastic, fantastic combination. I will investigate some special rooms because I can and they're kind of on the way. I, why not, I guess? You know, that thing almost telefragged me just there. How rude. The only thing I could really hope for at this point is higher fire rate. That's it. Who's alive out of these things? Maybe they, maybe the, the walking nubs just hadn't spawned in yet. And I really should be picking up keys. Just to just to make sure that I have enough for the for the hush floor. Which I do now. You need you need at least seven to be able to unlock stuff. I am totally down for a speed up, truthfully. Hey, it's Mega! That's the thing that I totally legitimately unlocked in the last episode. Well, I'm going to take Gimpy. And I'm going to take Mega Blast. Because I've never taken it before, so it's just for the item for the item thing. But I'm keeping the Void. <laughs> Mega Blast is good. I can use that to do a lot of damage to Hush. But, like, I would, I would much rather keep the guaranteed Heart Generation. And Blank Card Sun is still good. Like, it's, it's just good. And I'm ignoring those. By ignoring those, I mean they get exploded. Goodbye. You will not be missed. Wheel of Fortune. Really stupid damage. Got some health for me. Nice. I am playing a bit recklessly, but I'm, I'm running on a... I'm running on a little bit of time, time constraints here. You know what I'd actually really like to have is... Uh, spectral... Spectral Tears? Or something like that? That'd be nice. Cool. Hello, Arcade. Goodbye, Arcade. <laughs> oh. Why did I go this way when I just used the sun? I should know where I'm going. Down. Down and to the right. Easily peasily. Sweet. I like this. This just feels like a nice, simple, effective, good run. Nothing else. And, and honestly, I don't get enough of those when I play this game. I really don't. I wish it did, but it's like, it's just not an exceptionally common occurrence to just have a nice, good, relaxing run where I don't snap because the Keeper is a bad character. <laughs> what do you have? You are a one room. It's a D4. Quite frankly, I don't want to do that. I am, by the way, going to go back for that battery charge. Because, I don't know, it seems like something I'd, I'd kind of want to have. Leading into the next floor. Let's see what the Devil Room has. Has Delirium, which I don't think I've ever taken either. I don't think I've ever had the item, have I? I mean, I'll pick it up. A little oh, it's a little Delirium. It's not the Delirium use item. And there's there's absolutely a case that was really stupid. There's absolutely a strong case to be made for taking um Oh, what's it called? The thing? What's the thing called? Why have I already forgotten what it's called? The whatever the other item was in the devil room. I just completely lost my freaking train of thought. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pop this, grab this. Let's go. Let's go fight Hush. Uh, I mean, I'm not... What was the other thing in here? Guppy's hairball, right, for the defense, for the material blocking. I'm, I'm a little skeptical on, on, on um, the odds of success here when it comes to fighting Delirium and the Void. But based on what we get from this floor... Why do I have Headless Baby? I don't know why I have that. Based on what we get from this floor, it's going to very dramatically influence how I feel about going down there. Okay, well, um, first things first, this is just no question, proptosis. Give me the damage. Welcome to being powerful. Rune bag, hey! It's a little late for you to be like super nice, super handy, but that's okay. Oh right, I didn't pick up Headless Baby, I picked up, um, 
little delirium. Okay. Taking the Eternal Heart there might not have been a good idea, by the way. I don't really care. I'm gonna grab Starter Deck. Since I have the Rune Bag now. Blank cards. I'm gonna blank card this. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna end up... I'm gonna use the Void on the Strength card when I get into here. I don't think this stacks, does it? Nah. I don't I don't really feel a particular need to to keep the strength card with me. So I think I'm I'm content I think I think this is gonna work. I think I think this is absolutely gonna be doable. Now as for as for beating delirium, that's its own that's its own dilemma I'm gonna have to face when, when I get there. Um I think quite frankly, so long as uh so long as Runebag gives me an Alge's rune at any point over the course of the floor. I think I'll be okay. Cause this this run does a lot of damage. Just like just 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 straight up and, and I'll just rune would just keep me alive very, very hard. Plus most of my health is gonna be black hearts, which means anytime I do get hit, it's just gonna be more beneficial. I'm just gonna end up doing more damage. Thank you, Lil Delirium, for being Meat Boy for a bit. I appreciate that. I don't know if that actually does a whole lot when fighting the hush because damage reduction or whatever. But it's 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 nice to see. Little bits of health. Little bits of health? Little bits of help. And this is this is just going phenomenally right now. I've got the hush down to half health. I'm not even worried. I'm actually like dodging well for a change. I did not expect to be playing so well, given how I'm running on very relatively little food and lots of caffeine. But then again, I do have a history, like when I go to Smash tournaments, I have a history of playing far better when I'm running almost entirely on caffeine for like the first couple hours, and then I just kind of crash horribly after that, unless I get some food in my body. Maybe I'm experiencing something similar uh, when I play Isaac here. Maybe? I don't know. I could see it. All right. Little Delirium, I see you are currently a little hushy. I would like you to, uh... Well, you were. I don't know if you still are. Yeah, you are, but you're not in any good position to deal damage, so it's fine. Whatevs. Yo, hush. Get out here and fight me! Fight me! Fight me, fight me, fight me! Fight me, please? Thank you. And by the way, part of the dodging well that I'm talking about is also just the fact that I have two pretty flies. <laughs> it's not a case of me dodging well, it's just a case of me having methods of blocking tears along with- I am dodging pretty okay. I'll, I'll, I'll say that for a fact. Okay, so that's done. Uh, we have the void portal. Let's go. Here's the hoping. Maybe I should have saved the strength card after all. Eh, uh, perhaps I'll get something better. Alright, so, now that we're down here, I'm just gonna complete a few rooms, pop the void, the sun, and then we'll know where we're going. I'm thinking it might actually be beneficial to... Hagalaz. It might actually be beneficial to, um, go and fight all of the other bosses on this floor before Delirium, or at least... Go for the go for the bosses, the boss rooms that I know won't have delirium. Because items. I did not have the sun active when I used the void. Ha ha ha, whoops, my bad. Easy mistake to make. A hierophant. Hell yeah. Alright, I still want to use Blank Card Sun, but after that, Blank Card Hierophant. Give me that give me the health. All of it. Give me all of it. Sure. What are you? Chariot. The chariot's actually not that bad either, but I'm keeping the sun because the sun. What are you? Burkano! Um, I'm just gonna use it. I think I'm gonna make a point to just, just use Burkano runes and other runes that don't have any particularly strong use when fighting Delirium. This is such a powerful run. Man, I love it. It's powerful, but it doesn't feel, like, super crazy broken or anything. It just feels strong. You thank Proptosis for that, mostly. Okay. 
Um, Delirium can be in the lower left, the lower right, upper right, lower path. I think I'm gonna go for that central boss there to start, just because that represents more item. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. And this was Hagala's, yeah. I think I'm also in, and I'm also just gonna start going um, blank card Hierophant for now, just for the sake of having HP lying around for use as necessary. As necessary. Oh, excuse me. Oh my God. Bad muffin. So that boss could be delirium. Not going for it. Hello? It was. Literally useless now. Oh. Bad dodge, but that's okay. This build has lots of health generation. I'm not concerned about taking some hits. Temperance. Not relevant. Blank card Hierophant. Just 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 get some health lying around. Whether or not I'll actually need it, I don't know. Hey, there's Yera. A little too late for that, I hate to say. But um I think I'm gonna swap Yera. Swap the sun for Yera. Now what I'm actually gonna do with Yera, I don't know, honestly. <laughs> it's not like I'm gonna guarantee get items from anything, but I guess if I get some if I get some more golden chest drops. Maybe, maybe there, there would be a, a good point to use it then. I guess. I don't know, I could get a golden chest that has an item, and then I could get a bunch of items? As likely or unlikely as that may be. Ooh, black rune. Hmm. Gish. What are you gonna gish me? You're gonna gish me distant admiration. Hmm just gonna avoid it. I get some luck and the last of my speed to reach the cap. That's fine. Bacano. Black Rune. I'm a little torn right now. Maybe I should just... Eh. Because I, I want to have something that I can use effectively in the Delirium fight is the issue. And Black Rune and Yera just are not that. Neither is the sun, frankly. I need, like, an Alge's rune. Ace of Hearts is not... It's not useful. Era. Eh. Now I just have two black runes. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll find a use for it. Get a bunch of flies or something. It was? Or, not, not it was. Um, Alge's? No. Okay. Fine. Give me the black runes. I think, well, at least now I have these black runes, which means I can I can forego using the void when I don't necessarily need to on whatever items I obtain. Let's go to the upper left, obviously, since there's no other bosses in this direction. If this is Delirium up here, then like, oh no, whoops, what a shame, I guess. I'm not really gonna sweat it too much, because I think I think I can still beat Delirium with this with things as they are. I just I just wanted to do something with the void and black and the blank card effect. <laughs> you cursed. A little late for that game. Ooh, fire rate and damage? Let's go. Hell yeah, I'm down for that. Alright. Let's go this way. I just want to have something useful with the blank card effect because it's kind of been carrying me through this whole thing. Temperance is absolutely not that. I do have starter deck. Forgot about that. Blank card death. Well, we use the moon. And it is negligible. And a quarter. And by a quarter, I mean range and a little bit more tears up. Sure. I'm down. Thank you for soul heart. A battery. 
Having a charge handy might be valuable. I should really take Dim Bulb. Because I, I know for a fact that Dim Bulb is going to be useful. Where am I going? Wait, no, no, no. I want to go down and left. I'm getting a, I'm getting a little mixed up right now. Temperance, death. I mean, the death card is more valuable than anything else I've found with a blank card. Let's see what's going on down here. I don't want that. I want this. It is delirium. Okay. So we blank card death. Um, that gives, especially with dim bulb, that's just a whole lot of extra, um, whole lot of extra stats, which I am thrilled to see. Yeah, this is going to be, so long as I can dodge relatively well, this is going to be easy as heck. Easy, easy, easy. I just got to be able to dodge. And that is unfortunately not something I'm super crazy good at, but that's okay. Oh, and you know what I just remembered? I do have Gimpy. And Gimpy means I'm going to get a bunch of half heart drops. And I do have a black rune, which turns all of those into, into kamikaze flies. Which is just a whole bunch more damage. Hell yeah, I'm down. Now, at what point I'm actually going to use it, I, I, I don't know. But it's an option. It's available. Oh, wow. Little Delirium is being an incubus. That's handy. Yeah, easy. Easy. I don't know what I was worried about. What was I worried about? This is the easiest Delirium fight I've ever had. I think I might be exaggerating, but it's pretty much done at this point. Little Delirium being an Incubus was super, super handy, though. Well, look at that. Managed to accomplish a goal that I had in mind. First attempt. This was good. This was good. Achievement unlocked. Void. So I do believe that means that the Void use item has been unlocked. Yeah, it's been unlocked for, like, anyone to access. Well, nice and easy, nice and simple. Nothing too stressful, nothing too difficult. Um, I guess that'll do it for this episode. Again, sorry about the last one. I'm gonna try to be a little less crazy in the future. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm done. I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys later in the next episode of video of whatever the heck. I'm gonna go eat an actual lunch now, and it's gonna be great.